The best cake I ever made is this Italian angel fruit cake. I start with some fine granulated sugar. I take a pinch of salt, add it to this. What makes this angel fruit cake so unbelievable is this. Thank you. This vanilla leavening agent is truly a gift from the heavens. This right here is why it's the best thing I've ever made. What it adds is a nice smoothness. Also, it leavens it a little bit higher than it would otherwise, and it becomes even lighter. It has a great vanilla flavor to it. It makes this angel food cake even more angelic, if that's possible. <laughs> it just takes it to a different level. So we're also going to add one cup of cake flour to this. In a separate container, I start with egg whites. Add one teaspoon of cream of tartar. I'm gonna start mixing this up at a medium speed. About halfway to the point when it's really frothed up, I add some granulated sugar directly to the egg whites. Very slowly so it doesn't clump. I'm also gonna add the water that I have here. You need to find the proper balance of those egg whites. If they go too far, you're gonna ruin it. If you don't do it enough, it's not gonna be as light and fluffy as it should be. You want it to be a little bit softer than a meringue is. So I think we're ready. A stiff peak will stand straight up in the air and not fold over like that. This is just a, a medium peak, perfect. And then once it gets to that point, I'll add the flour mixture. We'll just sift them directly into the whipped egg whites. And I just fold that in with a rubber spatula. I wanna go nice and slow. If I mix it too rapidly, it's gonna lose its aeration. The key to this is that, that beautiful, fluffy texture. I'm gonna gently pour this into the bun pan. Make sure that it's the same amount all the way around. Tap it into place. And then I'll pop it into a preheated oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Piece of cake. It's important to get a cake tester. It's a long kind of a pin, if you will. Stick it right in the center of the cake. And I pull it out and it's nice and clean. So that means it's done. Just run the tip of the knife on the edge of this bun pan. Flip it over onto this tray. Just let it sit until it's nice and cool. And I won't remove it from the bun pan. I won't try to take it out while it's warm. This is what happens when you can't wait and you don't have patience. It starts to tear a little bit, but that's okay. I have to be honest, I think you don't want anything else with this. I mean, maybe a cappuccino, maybe a cappuccino mousse. Look at this, it just, it's like a souffle almost. This is just beautiful. It's like eating a vanilla cloud. This is exactly what I hoped it would be.